Hello and welcome Strategy Game Fans, it's Rob here from Explominate here with Alliance of the Sacred Sons, which is a game we have not looked at in some time. And it's about damn time because quite frankly, it's something that's on all of our radars really. And it's about to enter into its beta period. I guess it's about to do another beta, beta four, it looks like up here in the upper right hand corner. And you can sign up for it right now. And we're also just very fortunate enough that Steve Hawkins, the guy that develops this game, from Cat Hawk Studios and Hooded Horse have kind of given me like blanket permission to make videos of this game. And I figured it was a good enough time to do so. So let's get started. New Reign. Primary campaign and the great houses have slowly taken power and now command resources equal to or greater than the empire itself. They must be brought back into line by any means necessary for the ultimate stability of the empire. Can you reforge the celestial empire, your majesty? I hope so. All right, so I mean, I'm kind of American. <laughs> I mean, I really am American. Their conception of American values was influenced by the example of the Spartics. Uh, I kind of think I'm going to... I mean, so you can look at traditionalists. You can see Neo-American. You can see Technic. Mercantile. Gilded Worlds. And I wonder if Gilded Worlds is different than Mercantile. Looks like rather than pacifying their subjects with the ideology, the Great House of the Gilded Worlds go straight for the limbic system, maintaining chemical acquiescence to the judicious deployment of recreational narcotics. Holy crap, I love it. That sounds extraordinarily awesome. I almost want to do that. But I'm not going to. I'm going to come back to the near American just because I feel like that might be the more, like, generic. Uh, see, it looks like that it's cut off. If I click on it, nope, it won't let me see it. Oh no, it's cut off. Alright, so admit, again, this is going to be a beta build, so this is not a final build. Anything you see in here can and will be changed, likely, and especially improved upon for sure. So we'll continue with our Neo American. Looks like we've got no choice in what we look like. Hopefully, we get a choice later, but we will continue on. That's who I am. <laughs> I like it. All right, so we can go with archetypes that are either generalist, a warrior skill set, a mercantile skill set, and an administrator skill set. So I get one base action point. Oh, I like that. Those are important. 5% bonus to empire tax efficiency. Of course, war plan stuff. Humanist skill set, 10% bonus to friendly action success chance. And then the skill set, one Inquisitor squad. I like the idea of having one action point. So I'll do Administrator. And we could customize it, but I'm going to leave it as is. And then what are we going to... What, what are our house traditions? We're going to... Well, of course, we've got some government here. We're definitely going to want to look into some academics so we can continue to push our technology forward. I like some economy. We definitely want farming. And what's engineering? So engineering houses with a strong manufacturing tradition are exceptional at wrangling the most build points from their factories, meaning that less materials are needed to do the same work, which can save economies billions of credits over time. I kind of want to be like a militaristic government. So we'll have some like basic level stuff, right? But we're going to probably drive up the military and drive up the government. House of the Shaw government tradition excel at running planets, systems, and provinces. They bring the most economy from their areas of responsibility and generally get the most ADM and, to a lesser extent, tax efficiency from their station. Hmm, I think I like that. All right, and then we'll do a little bit of mining, of course. We need some mining. And we will also need some high tech. Then what else can we put a little bit more? So we've got some military, we've got government. I feel like we'll put the extra points into academic there. All right, we continue. And you know what? Why not? Let's call myself Rob. I don't look like that, but that's okay. And then we have average high. So we could do some crazy stuff here. But I think good to grow for a small empire or for new players. We're, that's us. We're new players. All right. Good. Read it.
All right, I will say this as I'm entering this, everything looks so much more polished and like everything just kind of feels much better. Open encyclopedia, let's do this. All right, wow, good lord. That is a lot of information. I'm digging it. This is exceptional. This is the kind of things that a game like this needs for sure. So I'm glad to see it. I'm very glad to see it. And all right, so the first things first, from what I can remember, is that we want to look at what we have here. So, oh, wow, look at those. That is awesome. That is a very cool visual display of not knowing what's going on here. So you clearly know that there's four planetary bodies. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and explore that so we can pick which one. So pick a Admiral and queue a fleet for construction. Uh, does either of them have a particular... No, I can't even scroll down. So yeah, there's going to be some wonkiness for sure. All right, we're going to take our Fleet Admiral Virtus Dazai, who looks like a freaking badass. That's kind of what I expect the New Americans to look like, especially if they're, like, taking on, you know, Spartic, Spartic ways. So we're going to go ahead and start the exploration of that system. And we also want to come over here and look at what we want to do. So we've, we want to gain a circle of trust. So that'll be something that we're going to click. This this here is going to basically pin it to our our main menu here, and I'll show you in a second. Develop mining outposts in order to take some next step. Our empire needs some additional resources and materials. Rather than depending on the fickle houses, it would be better if you generate more as empire assets. But at least a level one mining outpost. And we're going to pin that too. And then strengthen how our relationship with Iowa is rather low, and it would be better if relationship were so fraught. Okay, so we'll try to strengthen our relationships there, too. Do we have anything else going on? Expand. Yeah, we weren't going to be able to do any of that just yet. Those of our conditions here. We have Lazarus Project. <laughs> Become immortal. I like it. Empire Overlord, to win your house, including vassals, must have at least five times the power of the other houses combined. Wow. Yeah. Active plots, anything else? No, there's nothing else. So these are our priorities right now. Circle of trust, the mining operation, and that rest. So we're gonna go ahead and start our budget. Let's go ahead and get our budget going. And, oh, this is cool. This is way better looking. All right, so how many points do we have? Looks like we have 11 points. So what we can do with that is we're going to drop some into our domestic. Is that how many points? Yeah, we do have 11 points. And this looks like it's showing me what these people think of that. So this one likes that a lot. All right. And then we're going to put some money into our science budget for sure. And well, we want to we want to fund our military. Okay, so we can also drop more points into that by using our treasury. Okay, so I don't want to do it too much, right? I don't know. How much do I want to do it? It doesn't really tell me. So I'll drop more into that. They're happy now. Logistics controls the efficiency of the LGN network. It, if it's not fully funded, it will lose slowly lose efficiency each cycle relative to how much it is funded. So it needs three. And then you get this. Wow, cool. So... It's like different tiers. Decreases energy costs of using LGN network. But what is the LGN network? Some sort of logistical network, I'm sure. But like, what the hell is it? Increase the speed. I wish I could like, uh, you know, like, I wish there was like keywords here that I could click on. I'm getting so used to these. What are they called? Nested tooltips. Yeah. All right. So if we come over here. So they want four. And it looks like that made them really happy, the science prime. And this one would need two more as well to be fully funded. What are you, the Intel Prime? I'm not really worried about Intel. Well, maybe I should be. I don't know how many points I should be doing this with. 
I mean, I guess I should just try to fully fund everything. Maybe? I don't know. This could not possibly be fully funded, so there's no way I'm going to get that person happy. Who's my War Prime? Oh, he's actually happy with that. So, our economic, let's go ahead and put four in there. And then our Intel Prime. Well, like that. Okay. We'll probably drop one more into that. And I, don't, I just don't know if that's like... It's clearly not like excruciatingly bad for our economy. So let's go ahead and drop another one in there and see if there's anything else too. Could increase the operation cost of scouting expeditions. Oh, I like that. Increases political intel on planets that have a spy satellite. Inquisitors gain XP three times faster. I think that should just re gain experience. And then adds additional informers on planets with an active informer network. I don't know what any of this means. All right, allow one additional trade route per trade hub. Increases collected taxes on all planets. Ooh, we take that, yes. All right, so let's look over here. Birth rate increases on all planets by 10%. All pops gain 5% planet. Oh, yes, I'll take that too. Happiness is good. Everybody should be happy. And then we'll drop this last one into the war. I think that should be good. I don't know. I I, I've just, I don't know what the... like. I, clearly, you're not trying to drop all your money into that. And I wonder where the, like, the very, you know, fine line between dropping too much money in to your economy or to your budget and, like, whatever. I don't know. This is enough to get us by. All right. Well, that's all I need right now. This is plenty to support us, plenty to support us. Okay. So they're all happy. Hopefully, I didn't just, like, completely waste all of my money. <laughs> all right. Good to go. So there's no mandatory issues other than that. So we've already done it. The little petitioner. It is time in the week where you you hear petitions of the people, which sounds like a dumb reality show, but is actually a tradition of the Empire since the days of Magnus. Basically, anybody in the Empire can ask the Emperor to hear their issue. Of course, the Emperor doesn't have to do a damn thing about it, but if they're vetted, they can speak. Today, your queue is heavy, and the first time people come and go with you barely noticing. Then the 11th comes up. 11's a great number. It is a little girl clutching a teddy bear with dark, quivering tears threatening to come down her cheeks. What's wrong, sweetheart? Let the Emperor hear your petition. After a moment, she says, Your Majesty, can you bring back my mommy? She went to the Beyond last month, and I want her back, and you... Oh, good Lord. <laughs> your mommy died. Uh, kid, I'm not a god. I can't bring her back. Maybe I can help you some another way. I'm so sorry, young lady. Can you tell me more about what happened? Maybe I can do something else. I feel like this is more of my thing here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and be nice. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I can't bring your mother, bring back your mother, but can you tell me about her? You listen to the little girl. She tells you about her mommy. She sounded like an amazing mother, and it's clear that this little girl is devastated. By the time you are done talking with her, the petition period is over, and you feel drained. All right, so what does that do? Uh, I don't know what any of this does. We're going to keep going. Oh, okay. It increased my spirit. That's what it did. I don't know if you can hear the music in the background, but it's actually really nice. It's like classical. It's very nice. Man, what is going on in this game? It's just like totally... This is the kind of game I'm really excited about because I feel like there's a lot to learn here. And I have I know nothing. I know nothing, Jon Snow. Alright, so our budget is here. Our Empire ADM generation is negative one. I wonder why that's why that's the case. I don't know and it doesn't tell me i wish it did you have a due regard for your duty your fellow and your god a due regard but no more emperor action points three pdp i don't know what pdp stands for personality deployment points i don't know i think you there are like personality points you could put in so we'll look into that all right we'll come on down here to actually we'll go ahead and click on my guy my guy I would like to see this. Yes, the ruler screen has four main tabs. Overview, personality, skills, and relationships. On the overview screen, you can see your age, health, spirit, guilt, and your personality. It is informational only. Nice right, so oratory skills. On the personality screen, you have three sub-tabs. Core personality, oratory skills, and epiphanies. Core personality shows your public honor, humanity, and piety. As well as your guilt. From here, you can also increase your force of personality with your personality effects. 
oratory skills. I know that's like something you can do oratory combat now, which I think is pretty cool. All right, finally, let's see. Let's try to go through personal develop. Oh, so I see it. Don't forget to spend your personal develop development points as soon as possible. Everything except increasing your force personality only costs one PDP. So there is no sense hoarding and not getting the benefits of an increased skill or epiphanies. All right, so where's that personality skills? There we go. Show personality skills. Wow, there's a lot here. I like this a lot. All right, so am I going to be a pious person? Or am I going to be an honorable person? Or am I going to be like somebody who really likes to focus on humanity? I don't know. XP increases by 15. Assurance your decreases by 2. I don't I'm actually at a loss here. What do I do? Empire Tax get a 5% discovery bonus. Ooh, I like that. Adds 2% to your okay, you know what? I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be for humanity here. Alright, so I would add five. Do I need five? I don't know. Does that work? It worked. I guess I had five to give. Alright, so oratory skills. Ooh, look at this. All these skill trees, I like them. All right, so persuasion is a big thing for me. But rhetoric is even more. So where's rhetoric? Okay, so how does that like skill play in? So I guess the lip skills here are going to be where I want to go. So here's the lip skill. So emperor rhetoric plus one... Oh, but I had to go through this first. Okay. So I have this skill already. Impassioned Appeal. We can go over here and take Rhetoric. Well, I don't have the ability to do any of that, I don't think. I don't have any PDP left. I used all the PDP on that one thing. On my personality skill. No! I would have liked to do more, but I didn't realize what I was doing. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. So we can also do Personal Actions. Oh, well, there's a bunch of stuff here. Wow. Then come over to... What is Epiphanies? I know you said that it was... Reassuring. Wow, th this is this is awesome. I'm sorry, but I'm just... I'm in, like, awe of how much... How many systems are in place in this game right now. <laughs> Maybe there's too much. I don't know. I don't know if there's too much. I don't think there is. All right, so what is seven? Action points for... So I've got seven action points and 38 power so we gotta take a look to see who the houses are that don't like us so it looks like these guys don't like us very much relationship vengeance you have a sworn vengeance upon a character and are now engaged in a formal conflict against oh, I feel like we should probably try to do something so we're trying to unite people Right, and this also seems like they don't like us very much. So their military is weak, but their farming is really strong. These guys have a strong government. I don't really care about them then, because I've got a strong government. Who's got the strongest military? Not you. Not you. It looks like you do. And then, I, who are you? Ruling house of... That's, that's not me. Who are you? Oh, is that my friend? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to try to, like, they're belligerent, and they're not very happy with me. So we want to, we're going to go ahead and pin them. I forgot to show you where that pin goes. But let's go ahead and start acting on this, right? So, oh, man, we should express some, oh, I don't know. What are the special actions? Beg for peace. That's a 3% chance of that happening. Personal actions, maybe express some cons con or some support, and that would help them. Maybe let's see. You dare to hollow me? What guts you demonstrate? Hail Sanguioni Caronatomy! <laughs> I would like to throw my support your way for your upcoming plans. What say you? Could you use the sway of your emperor? 
as if I would be seen beside the mouthpiece of a donkey like you. Keep your support, Emperor Honaker. I know who my true friends are. Good lord. You are not very happy with me, are you? Alright, so let's go with an ability sh appeal strategy focused on likability rhetoric skills. I I'm good at rhetoric. But he doesn't think that... I don't think rhetoric's going to use... I don't think you should be taking on this character until you have improved your oratory skills. Never mind. I think you're right. So let's take on somebody maybe a little less angry at me. Are you still as angry? You're belligerent too. So maybe we should try to shore up somebody like you who's got a strong military. Quailing. I don't even know what quailing means. And I'm a pretty smart guy. Alright, so let's go ahead and initiate support for them. See how this goes. How are you today, Your Grace? Hail, Attila Venek. I would like to throw my support your way. I appreciate the gesture, but I don't think that would be honestly be any appropriate... Oh, wait. I honestly, but I don't think that it would honestly be an appropriate thing for you to do and for me to be a recipient, but you have my quiet thanks. You could try to press the matter further, but this may upset them even more. It's your call. No, I feel like that's not a good idea either. So where am I? What am I going to do here? Do I just like, maybe like people, get people to like me more? So you're belligerent, but I guess that's not how they are towards me. Hmm. Emperor relation vengeance. This allows you to make war upon them as you please, and because it is your oath that is sustaining. Wow. So is that how it is for everybody? Am I vengeance for everybody? Let's go to you. No, indifferent. So we'll come back to you. And even though you're governing as your strong suit, I'm gonna try to see what we can do here. Make a public peace offering. Let's do that. Can I help you, Your Grace, or did you just fat finger the com button again? Oh, wow. Good day, Mahai Tamar. I have wronged you, and I feel that our relationship needs to improve. I am willing to apologize for past wrongs and to, the, to you publicly to the whole empire. Would you, would going on my bended knee appease you? Your words have gone a long way towards healing my anger towards you. Your deeds will complete the task. I accept your offer as long as it is truly public and truly genuine. Wow. That worked out well. And he's still, <laughs> still at a vengeance level, but I feel like that was good. It doesn't say... I mean, I, I imagine it's probably changed, right? We should probably assign a, an Inquisitor. Because I want to just like keep an eye on this guy, since he doesn't like me. And then... We'll come over here to this group who likes me a little... Oh, you know what? That's allies. Ooh, okay. I'm allies with you guys. So what can I do here? Can I make you even happier? How about we just... Express support. Hola. I think that's actually not how you spell it. My chef, my chef put cinnamon on my smack this morning, and let me tell you, it was a revelation. You should try it. You must try it. Tell me, how have you hangs the head these days. Hail, Gerdna Watir. I would like to throw my support you away for your upcoming plans. What say you? Must I do this? Oh, very well. I would be delighted to have your support. How could I possibly look a gift emperor in the mouth? My eternal thanks to you for your kindness. Okay, so I don't think I've actually used a single point. Have I? I think I have, maybe. Yeah, okay. So then we try to shore up some of these other people, right? So even though you're not really excited about me, I'm going to try. Let's try giving them a gift. How may I serve you, Your Grace? I love white flowers in the foyer, don't you? A cheap and simple bribe is all that. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Let's try to negotiate. I would suggest using a browboat beat strategy. Okay, let's try it. Veiled threat. Oh, man. I, f I feel like this might not work. Oh, no. Okay, let's... let's Let's go backwards. Let's go ahead and try. No, I don't think reason's gonna work. How about impassioned appeal? That that could work. It's got a 70% chance of not though. Is that because I just suck? Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this meeting. I feel like that's my skills aren't good enough right now. And it looks like I've done 
Oh man, I've done enough to make that bad. <laughs> oh no. That was not what I was supposed to do. And I've used all my action points. There's other things I can do, but at this point... Wait, let me think. Let me see. I think I can... Let's look to see what else we can do here. Alright, well, this is not what I wanted to do. So let's see, we got potential issues here. Planet project completed. Uh, PDP point gained, or PD point gained. Oh, I gained a point. How did I gain a point? That's cool. Let's go back and actually do something with this. Uh, maybe we could go to oratory skills and grab something. I'm gonna grab this one. He's gonna be better at rhetoric. Or I can't do that yet. Okay, I have to go here again. Compassion and appeal. No, hold on a second. I'm here. I have this, right? I can do this now, and then I can start to move it down towards the rhetoric. So, okay, that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down this impassioned appeal route and see if that works as I level it up. All right. Potential issues. New plot discovered. Oh, okay. Serious new plot within your empire, your majesty. Let's come over here and look at it. Codename White Dandelion. So what do I do? Do I do like... Gnome plots. And then do I like assign a... Oh. Plot target. Well, wow, so the plot target's not me on the other one. So let's go ahead and look at assigning a, an inquisitor here to figure out who this plot target is. And then codename Yellow Zombie. I don't have enough AP points anymore or action points. Negative relation. Uh, man, I did I did wrong there. I definitely did wrong there. Looks like the exploration fleet has arrived. So I'll start to get to know what's going on here. All right. A sticky situation. You are grudgingly taking an, a show at the Grand Imperial Opera House wearing your most imperial wear, imperially wear, which not coincidentally is also extremely uncomfortable, when Mahai Tamar saunters into your private box. What can I do for you? Or should I say for House Ayoleala? Or both? Oh, that's right. That's the one I'm supposed to get happy with me. Yes, you're one the same, aren't we? Well, as it happens, I have an embarrassingly embarrassing situation that I need your help with. It seems my house treasurer was a little sticky-fingered, and he stole a great deal of money from my the treasury. We killed him, of course, but now we're quite short as a result. Would it be possible for you to lend us five... You know, I need to do this, right? Because I need to get them on my side. So, I don't know what these pluses are for I guess this is like the best one I don't know I don't it doesn't really say all right so that looks like it helped for sure but I don't know if that was the right the right choice who knows I guess I'll learn as I play all right so things are going up so I, I don't know what that is I wish I could mouse over it to see what it was. There's, there definitely needs some tool tips. I know there's already a lot, but I feel like I need more. So it looks like I am not doing well here. I've pissed them off. Or is that me? I feel like that's... No, that's not me. The Walder Graves are on our side, right? Yeah, and then it's these guys that I've pissed off now. The Great House of Curiel Finn. These must be like minor houses. Yeah, I think that's the case. Now, you know what I need to do? I need to get Steve on with me again. And we need to do like one of those like tutorial videos that we did last time when it was a much earlier build. Things have changed so dramatically that it's not even remotely the same game anymore. All right, so let's look to see what's going on here. Critical alerts, project completed. All right, court requests. 
Incoming court request from Attila Venek. Oh, let's look to see what you want. Uh, Emperor Honaker, hope this finds you well. As it happens, House Kareli Finn is light on rare materials. It would help us a ton. 18 tons. I feel like I need to do something to help him make, make him happier with me. All right. And they're indifferent to me, so let's let's go ahead and listen to them. Emperor Honaker, I hope this finds you well. As it happens, House Bear One is light on basic materials. Wow, that's all they want. They just want my stuff. And ship component stockpile. This is energy stockpile. Basic stockpile. Heavy stockpile. And then rare. And it looks like I gave up a lot of my rare. And I'm the one making the most, except for Eloia. Alright, so let's go ahead and hear you out. They're also indifferent to me. Oh wait, this is the house that I was trying to, I have to make happy with, right? I can't tell. Character power 11. Okay, whatever. We're going to go ahead and see what's going on. And Pranaka, I just wanted you to know that I have your back, as does House Walter Grave. Well, see, this is cool. I appreciate it. All right, great. So, and then finally, wow, we're just going to eat all of our... No, this isn't actually required. This isn't taking all of our action points. That's good. Mihai Tamar is the one. Yes. She's the house leader. He. The person. This is from the Eloia. Yeah, Eloia. Uh, <laughs> I wish I knew how to say that. First, I can't wait to see you and your house fail miserably. Wow. Well, aren't you just a little bitch? Get off my hollow screen. Oh my god. That's very mean. Plot target. Ooh, that looks like somebody that might be in my house. It is somebody in my house. So, Red Rocket's an assassination attempt on my Red Rocket. That's hilarious. On my person. On my fleet admiral. We're going to try to fix that. All right. Code name Yellow Zombie. Gold Hummingbird. All right. So, we have two here. I should probably keep... I uh, can't do that. We're definitely going to want to keep this... Yeah, he's trying to assassinate. Somebody's trying to assassinate him. I wonder how I get this fixed. Plot leader is found. They'll be put to death. All right. No, we don't need to... So global happenings, unrest decrease across the empire. That's good. Farm sector complete. That's even good too. And then we have a, another PDP. Oh, we have a personal... Yes, let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and look to see what we want to improve. Let's see, beg. I don't want to do beg. Impassioned appeal. That's what I'm like. Let's go ahead and increase my rhetoric. And we'll come back out. And then we will look to see what we can do maybe to strengthen our colonies here. This is... Are they owned by me? Are they all owned by me? I don't think so. This one is for sure. I really like that. <laughs> that's that's super cool. All right, what can we do at this level? So New Terra. Let's come over here and look at New Terra. The graphics are just really good. All right, there's an overcrowding issue. Oh no, there's no overcrowding issue. What is going on here? The volcanic region. I heard a button. It sounded like a button. I pushed a button. I didn't mean to push a button. All right. Well, I don't know how we can... Can we do stuff here? Oh, we can. All right. So, we can retrofit. If we plan on increasing our shipbuilding, your grace, consider retrofitting the existing ship components with these machine tools. We can establish a military command. We can initiate deep core excavations. So deep core excavations, we can now dig even deeper into planet's core, allowing us to 
excavate minerals much faster and more easily, but boring into incredibly dense material takes a significant amount of energy. This will cost me one energy point, it takes five turns. What is that? That lower right. Okay, that's this. Admin capacity. All right. And it'll increase my economic skill. I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and open the encyclopedia for this. So you're a powerful ruler. That's great. How do you set the wheels of interstellar change in motion? The most important and the tool you'll use the most is projects. Okay, so projects are basically stellar based or land based entities that help me build stuff. To start a project, you must have the desired planet system or province selected. And then I think that's what we're doing right now. And there's uh, effects that all of these have on honor, humanity, and piety. Not all projects are welcomed by houses. Intel and military projects in particular may be met by a frown. Yeah, I imagine that. Increasing mining output in, by 20% each sector that is set up for mining, but uses 50% more energy per mining sector. Uh, let's just try it. Yeah, let's see what the hell it does. Acknowledge. All right, and with that, let's also look to see if there's something else we can do. Maybe we integrate birthing pods. Birth rate could be improved by the by the mass use of birthing pods, as was done during the settlement of Nutera. So maybe instead of doing this on the oh wait, okay, so there's. Wow, okay, so they're in our own system with us. What if we did stuff for them? Okay, let's look to see what they might need. They're happy? They don't have much defenses. Their development's not that high. I imagine that's not that high. So what if we try to develop this place? Would that remove, upgrade, habitable planet infrastructure? No, I don't think that's it. Caves of steel, if we reach the limits of conventional construction. Start planetary beautification project. I feel like they would like that, right? Increase planet happiness by 10%. Increases adjusted bio rating by 10%, or sorry, by 10. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll also look to see about Increasing their infrastructure. So we'll go down the line here. That's definitely military. Deep core excavations. Marco Polo collectives. This requires a trade port. Build trade port. Okay, let's go ahead and build them a trade port. I feel like we gotta do stuff to like make them happy. Alright, there we go. So with that. Hopefully that'll make them a little bit happier in like 20 turns when those, th when those things are complete. There's overcrowding. Oh, I thought, this, I thought I saw overcrowding somewhere. Did I gain another point? I don't think so. Nope, I did not. All right, so let's look here. We're getting a lot of things done now, so Ministers are made not born to produce more. We have to set a training program on planet, on planet, <laughs> on planet Attica to better prepare our future. So these are things that are being suggested to me, I think. Clearly I've done a couple of them, but oh, these are actually ones being started by others. Okay. House leader, so active priorities. We, we have to do a circle of trust. I remember that too. I remember that being something that we would do when we were when we first talked to Steve. So our closest friends are these guys. And we have to invite to inner circle. That's what it is. Not enough open slots in the open in the inner circle. Where's the inner circle then? Is this my inner circle right here? These are definitely people that hate me the most. So these are people I need to start focusing on are the people that hate me. Or maybe even the people that are like kind of on the edge, right? 
These people like me the most. But I don't have I don't see where the inner circle is. Hmm. I mean, we're friends, but I can't invite you to the inner circle because I have no space left. And I don't understand where my space is. This is not me. Come back to me. There we go. My closest allies, but I don't see an inner circle. Let's see. Personal actions, maybe? I create inner circle. <laughs> I don't see it. Actions governing. Give sermon. Personally contribute, micromanage. These don't sound like fun. Reconcile with third party, special actions. Nope. There's so much to do. Holy crap. And there's only so many things you can do. I like that. There's like a real hard idea of like, what can I do to make my, my situation better? And I only have so many things I can do. And I don't know where my inner circle is. Steve, if you're watching, show me where my inner circle is. I don't see it. But hey, guys, I think this is time to wrap this game up so far. I'm going to come back because I'm really actually really intrigued. I think that whatever, I mean, what I'm seeing so far is, hey, my, my God, like just night and day compared to the last time I saw this game. Let's look to other things here for a second. So we can look to see what kind of money these places are making. Like, so Aurora is not making any money. Is that like a, some sort of like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is it a propulsion system? <laughs> some sort of gate? It's got to be some sort of gate. And I see why they're not making any money because there's nothing here. But we could possibly, wait, let's put all this. We could start building stuff here to make it upgrade planet ha habitable planet infrastructure all right we're gonna do that so we're gonna try to increase the amount of money coming out of that place i don't like that you have to zoom in like that in order to to actually affect these things because like honestly the zoom level coming in here looks weird but i do like the the setup here All right. I mean, I'm I'm digging what I'm seeing so far. Do I know what I'm doing all the way? No, 100% not. That is 100% the case. I do not know. It looks like these are different command modes. So, like... Uh, let me see. We come down here and look to see what this is. So, that's definitely, like, different actions being taken. This is showing my approval rates, I guess. doesn't say this appears to be some sort of like immigration movement yeah I mean clearly okay I just want to I, I want to preface this all by saying this is clearly still not done right there's still a lot of time for them to fix some of the like lack of information but the things I'm seeing are such an incredibly large step forward for this game compared to the last time I've taken a look at it that I am genuinely very, very excited for this game. Steve and company, Cathawk, you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. And let me know if you guys want to see more. If you want me to kind of fuddle around a little bit more to see just where I can get this. I'll also reach out to Steve and see if there's some things that I can learn from his, <laughs> I'm sure, vast pool of knowledge considering that this is his game. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll reach out to him. Maybe we can do one of those tutorial videos together. Let me know if that's something you want me to do. But until then, hey, this is Rob from Explominate. Thanks for being here. Until next time, keep exploring.